Hi everybody, it's Mr. Nick here, um, and I am going to be reading a story to you about um, a mitzvah, and we've been connecting um, the mitzvah with the idea of a Brit, and how a mitzvah is a good deed that connects us with people in, um, in positive ways and helps us to build a relationship with them. Um, so we've talked about mitzvahs and we were having a food drive at school, um, to do a mitzvah for the Thanksgiving holiday. And I wanted to read this story called The Mitzvah Magician by Linda Elovitz Marshall. And it was illustrated by Christiane Engel. I'm sorry it's backwards. I was trying everything I could. But it wouldn't go the other direction. The very first time Gabriel wore his magician's cape and hat, he waved his magic wand and said his magic words. Presto magico, I am Gabriel the Great Magician. Glass be empty, he commanded, and he waved his magic wand near the glass. Milk spilled all over the counter and all over the floor, and soon the glass was empty. Looks like he made a big giant mess instead of doing magic. Gabriel waved his magic wand again. He waved it so close to his little sister, Julia, that it poked her right in the tummy. Presto magico, I am Gabriel the Great Magician, and I can make you disappear. But Julia didn't disappear. She cried. Time out, ordered Gabriel's mother. You need to sit on the stool until you can behave. No, she's looking really angry. But I am Gabriel the Great Magician, he insisted, and I need to wave my magic wand. Gabriel, good magicians aren't mean. Good magicians do good things that make people happy, not sad. They do mitzvot, the Jewish word for a good deed, said his mother. He's looking kind of sad. He doesn't quite know what's going on now. He might actually be confused, too. <coughs> uh, Gabriel sat on the stool. He stomped his feet and he yelled, I didn't mean to be mean. I'm a magician. I'm Gabriel the Great. If you don't settle down, said his mother, I'll have to take away your cape and your hat and your magic wand. I'm counting to three. One, two. Gabriel got quiet. His mother scooped up Julia and they left the room. And then there's Gabriel. Looking grumpy as can be. Gabriel thought, to make mitzvot, I need new magic words. I need Jewish words. And so he waved his magic wand. I wish I had new magic words, he said. One wish, two wish. He sneaked off the stool and he tiptoed into the, ki into the kitchen. He waved his magic wand. One wish, two wish, Jewish, he exclaimed. Kitchen be clean. And he put down his magic wand, and he wiped the counter, and he mopped the floor. And then he rushed back to the stool. He thought. He thought some more. Sorry about my squeaky chair. He sneaked off to the stool again, and he tiptoed into the living room, and he waved his magic wand. One wish, two wish, Jewish, he commanded. Toys be tidy. And he put down his magic wand, picked up the toys, and he put them in the toy box. Then he rushed back to the stool. He thought, 
and he thought, and he thought some more. He's doing some good deeds. He sneaked off the stool for a third time, and he set the table for his mother, Julia, and himself. He put a cookie in each plate, and then he set plates and cookies on Julia's doll table, too, and he rushed back to the stool. He was just in time. His mother and Julia were coming down the stairs. Are you? Ready to behave now, his mother asked. Gabriel waved his magic wand over his head. Yes, mommy, he answered. I am Gabriel the Great, and I have a new magic words. I can do mitzvot. Good, she said. But first, let's clean up this mess that you made in the kitchen. Watch, said Gabriel. And he waved his magic wand, and he said his magic words. One wish, two wish, Jewish. Kitchen be clean. And his mother looked into the kitchen. It was very, very clean. Well, how did that happen, she asked. Gabriel waved his magic wand again, and he said his magic word, one wish, two wish, Jewish. Toys be tidy. And his mother looked into the living room, and all of the toys were in the toy box. Whoa, she said. Gabriel waved his magic wand a third time and said, One wish, two wish, Jewish cookies be ready. And he smiled, pointed at the tables, and took a deep bow. Julia clapped and his mother gave him a big hug. I make mitzvot, he announced. I am Gabriel the Great. I am the mitzvah magician. Look, they're all happy now. He seems very proud, too, and very happy that he did his, his good deeds. The and The Mitzvah Magician. And we have a lot of these books at school. So when you guys come back to school on the 30th, um, you will be able to find these in your classroom. I have another one, too. It's called Mitzi's Mitzvah, and this was by Gloria Kester, Custer, and the illustrations are by Holly Conger. Mm, who do you think Mitzi is? Let's find out. Mitzi going for a ride. They're at the Shalom home. Mitzi has to wait outside. Wait, is Mitzi the little kid, or is Mitzi the pup? Mitzi the puppy. Let's find out more. Boys and girls bring New Year wishes and tasty food arranged on dishes, games and stories to be told. Fun for young people and old. But not for dogs. Mitzi must be the dog. Mitzi looking very glum until the nurse says, Doggy come. Mitzi is the perfect guest doing what she does the best. I wonder what she does the best. I'm going to say, be a good, loyal friend. Bringing her doggy wishes. Wagging and snuggling, giving kisses. She even licks some empty dishes. Oops, sorry about the light, guys. She even licks some empty dishes. Goodbye, Mitzi. Come again. You are our special friend. But Mitzvah pups get tired, too. So now into the car with you. Curled up in a furry heap, Mitzi soon is fast asleep.
D and so those were that was my phone. So those were my books to share with you about mitzvahs. So we had Mitzi the dog, and her mitzvah was basically just being kind to um, other people and giving them doggy kisses and doggy snuggles. And then there was the mitzvah magician who was doing naughty things, and he realized that people would like it if he did good deeds. So he cleaned the kitchen, he cleaned the living room, and he set up snack for everybody. So those are good ways that people can, people or animals can do good deeds for each other. So I hope you enjoyed my story time, and I can't wait to see you guys soon, okay? See you later.